Brown County did down close to where my brother Bill. Yeah, I really don't know. Things and one of those guys, yeah, his hobby, he does some stuff. He's got metal stuff. He flicks over. Jump, 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 Last Thursday, I came there. Huh? He, he, he left here Monday morning. I don't know where he works, but he said he drove us in. But he said after work, he, he had a piece of just flat piece of brass. And he pounded this out and sent it to me, and I got it first. So it must have not took him very long to make it. <laughs> oh my God. But that, that's a work of art, then. I mean, that would be. My goodness. I wouldn't take a lot of money for that. I guess not. You know, that's the kind of stuff the industry is. Something that's handmade, you know, and one of a kind. I can't tell you there's not another one in the world like that. <laughs> Yeah, it won't deteriorate, it won't or rust or anything like that. Oh, no, no, it's all right. 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 all right. It's 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 Charles, is it getting down? Yeah, I, I want to check it again. It's got a ways to go yet, but I, I don't think it has too far to go. No, I just want to see. Well, I don't think that'll cook down to the mark, uh, I hope it don't. Okay, I hope it don't. With all the snips we put on, why? That shouldn't cook there down again, that much. About an hour to get the fire right. I, I just brought right, out right, um, right. a little dish to okay, make your right, test yeah, in and a spoon. Oh, okay. Okay. Now I'm and Tom, oh, I have some good yeah. there. I don't know what you're going to want to use to get there. Yeah. I like, I like anything handmade and anything one of a kind. That's all handmade and that's, I guarantee it's one of a kind. 
I didn't see yeah, that. He's done all kinds of stuff. I'm yeah. positive there's not another in the world like it. I see all that. There again, the worst oh, part yeah. of that is cleaning it up. That represents a lot of work. You get on yeah. it right when you're done. Right. You Pound that out from a flat sheet of rice. You take the rice. garden hose and hose it out. Right, right. right. Wait till the next day. You're in trouble. You're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Chip, whenever you have a little time, I have something back here I want to show you. Yeah. Let's go do it. Your dad's got a tree back here. Do you know it? No, well, didn't know he that. Has, he has a tree back here. It's his tree. Ew. Well, if you're ready, I am. Okay. <laughs> well, That's right. I and, remember uh, that. Long, uh, this, is, this is long in um, October. Your dad uh, wondered if I might have it. We hadn't moved here yet, but we had bought the property. And he wondered if uh, there might be a tree out here to get, get for his fireplace. And I said, well, there's a dead elm that stands back here. There's, a, there's an elm that stood right there. And a pretty, pretty good sized tree. And I said, we'll cut that. We had this cross cut saw. Your dad, you know what a cross cut saw is like. So your dad says, he said, well, here's a little ice tree coming. It's about this tall. He said, we'll be careful and don't hurt that, and then that can go up and take the place of that um, elm tree. So he got down here and he just kind of held this tree back out of the way like this, you know. <laughs> we got down here and we cut that old elm tree and left this one. So that was in October of 1958, and this is October of 2002. That would make, what, 44 years old? Yep, sure would. So that's that's your dad's tree there. My gosh. I wanted to show that to Heather, I mean, she got away before I could do it. Well, I'm proud of that tree. That's interesting. You know, that, that was thoughtful of your dad, you know, he saw that. Well, I'm interested in trees, but I, I didn't really notice that little tree, but he said, here's this little tree coming, we'll be careful there, and then you're up to take a place of that elm tree. <laughs> Your dad's a pretty good guy, you know it. Yep, I do. Well, I appreciate him more all the time. I mean, your dad's got a, he's come a long ways in his lifetime from the starting yard and not a whole lot of education. And uh, he just has a lot of ability and good to head on. Yeah, I yep. think a lot of your dad. Yep. He probably forgot about that. I don't know. <laughs> yep, he probably did. Well, thank you for showing me that. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I love to share those sort of things because I, mean, uh, I get a little sentimental about stuff like that. You know? I do too. Because I, I just like trees anyhow. Yeah. Right there's, a, there's another ash well, growing off that yeah, way. It's uh, not, not quite as big or as old as that one. And I said, that's a, that, those two ash trees, they could well be soulmates. Like this is Pete, that'd be your mom over there. That's a neat way to look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful place. Uh, okay. so, well, very I, serene. I love the trees. Yeah. Very serene and peaceful. I, I wish I'd have measured that tree when it first moved here. Because it, it's just made a beautiful growth. But I didn't get it done. And, yeah, it's probably a good 100, 150 years old, you think? No, well, I expect this. Probably close to 100, maybe a little more. Yeah. And I got one behind the barn that the Indians has probably walked under. Did you, you ever see that one behind the barn? No. I forgot to say speak. I'm sorry. What about Can eat it? Can eat it?
not enough. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, I got. Nana, you haven't seen my big oak yet, have you? No. Is that? The, well, my eyes oh, yeah, yeah, we did. Ken took oh. me out there. Just oh. the one right out here. Oh, yeah. I was going to show it to trip. Yes. <laughs> we did. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Now both of you. <laughs> oh, I thought you said you didn't want to send it. No, 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 no. I said this is the best background. I'd say at the end, you just probably walk on the list and Oh, that is a big one. That is a huge one. I'm impressed by those big old limbs up there. You know, it makes me think of a, of a giant with his stretching his arms out like that, like Hercules or somebody. You yeah. Know. Boy, that's a huge thing. Yeah, you bet you. Is that the biggest one you have, you yep, think, in the that, woods? That's the biggest one. I never measured that. I ought to measure that sometime. See how big it is. Right and now. that's a, what is it, an oak or an ash? Or? No, that's a white oak. White oak. Hmm. Yeah, these uh, lower limbs keep dying on there. I've had a couple of pretty good sized limbs break off. This one here is dead and there's another dead one. Is that natural for them to do that? Well, yeah, I suppose because, well, you, you see these other trees are growing up around the shades them out too much. Oh, I see. If these other trees wasn't growing up around here, they probably wouldn't have died. But they're... Uh, I got a couple other trees I want to show you, Chip. Okay. Would you believe that those two trees are both the same age? No. They are. Those are, those are tulip trees. What happened to the one? Well, it, it's suppressed because it's got shaded off. You know, oh, a, a, I see. A, tulip, a tulip tree, they like to have side trees for protection from side. But they need to open the open sky overhead because they don't do well in shade. But this one, this one's kind of su suppressed by the canopy up up there above it, and it doesn't get the sunlight. But this yeah. one, it had a little hole to go up through there, and uh, I think it was 1966 we planted those trees. Well, I, I was telling about cutting that dead elm back here for at your dad. Well, there's two elm trees right, right where each one of those trees are. There used to be an elm tree, and they died, and I cut them. And I think Miriam was about six years old, so that had been she was born sixty, so that had been about 1966. Might be off a year or so either way, but uh, about that time. She said, Dad, I found a couple of little tulip trees. I mean, even at that age, she knew her so she, So here there was, just two little things like that. And I said, well, let's, let's take and plant them out there to take the place of those elm trees that cut. So that's what we did. And she just found them out in the woods and brought them in she, and planted them? Uh, she found them out here on the edge oh. of the yard. You know, I have a tulip tree there, and there's another, and they go to seed. Mm -hmm. I get a lot of those seed in the yard. And, Someplace out around the yard, she found them growing. <laughs> How big were they when you found them? Were they just saplings? 
It's just little oh. seedlings, about like this. Not over two feet tall, if there's that. Oh. 66, that would have been 34, it would have been about 36 years ago. So that, that's pretty good growth there in 36 years. For that years. one, yeah. Yeah. You know, the forest, this is classified forest, and I have to have a woods inspected every five years, you know, to see if I'm compliant with the regulations. And the forester keeps wanting me to cut some of this stuff. And there, there's a good argument for what he, he's talking about. You know, like that, that tree's done yeah. that in, in, uh, in, in 36 years because because it had space to grow in. He said these big trees I have back here, they're, he said they're mature and they're not going to do much more, but they're suppressing all of the other growth underneath them, which he's right about that, but uh, I just still don't want to cut the trees. So. <laughs> we are leaving, Uncle Kenny. Well, how's it coming on leave so soon? Because I'm, I'm house sitting and babysitting. Oh. And dog sitting. <laughs> well, you're a busy girl, aren't you? <laughs> well, at least it's all in the same place. <laughs> Just gotta go let the dog out, make sure I don't have to clean up anything. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you guys came. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. You know where, where we live now, you have to come back. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get lost this time either. You didn't get lost. <laughs> no. I, hey, you're just getting better, aren't you? I am. I'll see you later. What is it, Rick? Yep, that's me. Hey, guys, you are.